I've been with F3 for about eight, nine months. When I heard these guys outside the building, one, two, three, one, two, three is what drawed my attention. Um, before F3, I was down bad. Uh, battling addiction, homelessness, um, just trying to find who I was. I was introduced to F3 through um, Maradona. I was exercising down on the basketball court. This guy comes up and asks me, do I want to work out with the guys? And I was looking at him like, he just didn't look like he was the guy. I met F3 one day, just I had something on my mind that wasn't good for me. And I stopped uh, pipelines, hey man, can I work out with you guys? And it just started a whole new transformation of who I thought I was and turned me into a guy I never thought I could be. A lot of guys come to the shelter and they're down and out. And uh, you don't know which way you're going, but I've gone with them to uh, churches and, and spoke with other people who needed to be uplifted. And these guys are really living the Christian life. And even if you're not a Christian, they base this on you believing in something uh, higher, greater than yourself. You know, I've never had family. I come from a rough background. So this is like the first family I ever had, you know, and I'm 32. So it's, it's real emotional, you know, when I think of it. How many mistakes I've made, they always, they're always the same for me. They never turn their back. I got with F3, it helped boost up my uh, confidence back again. I, I had confidence, but you know, going through your test in life, like a lot of these guys, they have tests. So I appreciate the F3 camaraderie, faith, fitness, and fellowship. There's never been a time that I needed F3 that they weren't there as long as it was righteous. You know, I mean, it's been times like I had nowhere to stay at all, and these guys did not let me sleep on the street. You know, it's been times I had no food, and I wasn't able to come here. And these guys made sure that I had a meal in my belly, you know, I mean. It's been times I didn't have any change of underclothes, these guys were there. I mean, hygiene, no toothbrush, these guys were there. So, I mean, anything people do to help these guys really comes back to help us at this shelter. It does.